Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can use a threshold or how you can compute a threshold which can be used to divide a vegetation index image uh, into highly vegetated area and low vegetated area which will help you to point out critical areas where uh, more interventions are required. So this is the last two steps. So the compute raster statistics of uh, vary including quartiles and use the first quartile to reclass the vary to vegetator and uh, non-vegetator area. So let's get back to um, QGIS. So in QGIS, I'm going to open uh, the Wadi Vegetation Index Map of 22nd January 2020, which is already clipped. And if you have followed one of the last tutorial, you have already done this. So this is very clipped, already clipped to maze. I'm going to change the symbology here. Classify, apply. So this is um, the vegetation index. If you also open the ortho photo, um, and zoom into this particular area where there is low vegetation index values uh, you can already see uh, that those low vegetation index values are due to lack of vegetation or gaps in between the plants or even shadows so um, it would be nice to have some focus area for example this area uh, have uh, very low vegetation indices which means that the, the crop vegetation is really low so let us see how to find a threshold and divide this vegetation index into two classes one is highly vegetated and then another one is low vegetation uh, which may require more attention which may be due to many reasons we are not getting into those details here so to compute the threshold, let us do a extended univariate statistics of this vary visitation index map. So I will go to r.univar and you, you, you should have opened QGIS with grass to get this module working. And I will select the vary map, go back and i will calculate the extended statistics instead of pipe i will write here comma because i need a comma delimited file as output and i will save into file saying that worry uh, january 2020 stats so that is my statistics for worry for january 2020 the r.uni were finished let's go to our excel sheet and open the saved file delimited select comma here so that all the statuses come into separate columns and here you can see the minimum value the maximum value is 0 0.6 mean and it also gives you a third quartile the median and the first quartile. So in this case, I'm going I'm going to select arbitrarily uh, the first quartile, which is uh, equivalent to 25th percentile, as the threshold for vegetation and non-vegetation. That means any pixels with the values greater than 0 0.069 or 0 0.07 is uh, vegetated, and the others are less vegetated which require some attention, which require further investigation. So what we need to do is we need to um, now reclassify this particular image into two classes. Class number one 
which represents lower values from minus 1 to 0 0.07 and class 2 which is the vegetated area which represents in pixels with the values greater than 0 0.07. To do that I will use the raster calculator. Um, I already have an equation to reclassify an image. So I will also post it uh, below this tutorial. So this means uh, vary less than or equal to 0 0.07 assign the value 1 and for any pixels in the in this raster with values greater than or equal to 0 0.07 assign the value 2 reassign to 2. So this is how you can uh, this is one way of reclassifying a float uh, raster map and you can provide a output layer name so here i'm going to give mari jan 2020 uh, reclass i'll save it and i will run this you can see that it's already here and good properties Symbology. I'll instead of pseudo color, I will use unique values. Classify. You can see that there are two values, one and two. Apply and OK. So here, two represents uh, higher vegetation and one represents lower vegetation. So these are all areas with lower vegetation, which you can also, uh, if you look into the ortho photo, you can also see. Uh, that there are either due to shadow or uh, exposed soil, uh, the vegetation index is lower number. So this is how you can uh, um, plot or you can uh, compute critical locations in a field based on vegetation index derived from drawn data. Thank you.